Hello What's and up, Suge? You know what time it is. It's five o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining daytime cookie show out there on the web right now with my two good friends. You know them. You love them. Your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan, and Chef Greg Muller. Did he just sup sugar us? Hey, Shug. Hey, Shug. Hey, guys, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. And of course, today, it's Wednesday. It's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, and we are live right now at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. Six, Huge, yeah. Six miles up the road from the Augusta National Country Club. That's right. Where they hold the Masters Golf Tournament. Every yes. April, it's being right. held in November this year. That's right. Are they doing the uh, Augusta Women's event too, or no? I don't think so. I think just, it's just rescheduled. Uh, yep. Hey, but speaking of relevant sports, though, what did the Braves just do? They, they win. Just Braves they win. The Braves, Braves just win. beat the Marlins. That's what two, I'm talking about, two, uh, baby. Up two games yeah. tonight. <laughs> oh. 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 We just need one more win. Let's go. Um, but yeah, sports lovers' dream. Yeah. Sports lovers dream right now. We have so many sports being jam-packed in so little time. Uh, guys, if you didn't know, make sure you check out our home gating segment. Oh, yes. so Every Monday, right. 12 noon, Eastern Standard. Try to fit it in. About 15 minutes, we get you two recipes in and out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, you, sure you, you are out. doing some work on those grills you really on are. We got the time clock Got the timer and everything, That's man. That's right. It's legit. It's very legit. Mm -hmm. Very neat format. That's right. Um, but, uh, again, this is After Hours. Thank you so much for joining us with me, as always. Chef Greg, your director of culinary innovation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we got another barbecue academy like coming up. It's going to be a busy weekend. But oh, we man, can't forget we? about... The Dude. master of mayhem over there. Sup, Shug? That's right. Chef John of the ones and twos. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Make sure y'all put all y'all's comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. I'll be reading those out to my friends. No, no, no. How are you doing? Some, how, Watch no, it on no, YouTube. How make how sure you hit that red rectangle. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live. This week's theme is easy go-to recipes. That's right. Shoot, yeah. Chef John uh, started it off with his delicious Chicken. That's right. That's right. Smoked chicken smoked and vegetable chicken. soup. Smoked chicken oh, and vegetable Did soup. He, on the he rated the, right. uh, the Rec Tech Garden. It was mm. so good. It was Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. I love the uh, addition of the tomatoes. That, yes. that made it for me. That's right. I'm the just super saying. salty uh, pasta. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not super salty. It was salty. umptious and umptious. delicious. Umptious. I love that. It hit the spot. Right, right. And and it was, uh, what did you do spots. yesterday, Chef Greg? We made the ultimate Italian stromboli. Oh. No, uh, we, we're not mentioning his name. He's like Voldemort, right? <laughs> we can't talk about it, you know? What? I don't know. I missed that. All right, here's yeah. what happened. Okay. So, you know, John had to take care of business yesterday, so we had Country Club guest spot right. on lunch break. Right. Okay, cool. Cool. So it's the part of the show where you got to kind of, you know, eat the food. That's uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. It's a stromboli, so we figured, hey, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Right. Mm -hmm. He gave me an 8-1. Ooh. Good exactly. score? Definitely good not score? a good score. Uh, no? No. That's a... That's a rough score. Out of 10? Yeah, out of 10. But, okay, if you had eaten that stromboli, it was next level. Okay. Even the Sherpa grease. Chef, you know we knock stuff out of the park. Every time it's at least a 9, 5, or a 10. It, okay. his, his methodology, this is fantastic. Okay. I'm going to rate it low so people don't think I'm just giving you a good number because we're friends. Mm. But the best part about it, mm. skew, people, were, skew, people were riding him hard. <laughs> That's I mean, funny. they were making That's so memes. funny country. It was funny, but Country Club is not going anywhere. Top 20%. We love Country 15%, Club. 15%, 8-1, I think. You know, that's a good score, but... Uh, but that Stromboli was epic. That's right. And then tonight, we're going to make for you the easy go-to. We've taken Stevie Frederick's Ray's Little Buddy. We've taken little his buddy. recipe. We've kind of amplified it a little yeah. bit. We're going to show you how to do Greek chicken. Um, it couldn't be easier. It couldn't be more go-to. And shout out Stevie Fredericks out there. I know he's watching at the uh, JWO. Yep, hanging That's out right. there. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the um, Redneck Riviera. I thought Redneck Riviera it. was the Gulf. I don't, I don't know. 
Hey, Jody, uh, Hi, we, have a, we have a question from one of our top fans, Crystal wow. Field Kleins. Hey, Ask Crystal. Are there still tickets available for this week's Academy? Yes, yes, yes. If you want a ticket, yep. email me right now. When we're done with this, we couple, I will give you a call. We drop out. We, we got about three people. So three spots are open. So email me, chefgreg at rectech.com. Put your phone number in there. After this is over, about 545, we'll give you a call. We'll get that ticket processed uh, and heading your way. Starts tomorrow, yep. 4 o'clock. Somebody's probably already calling right now. They already are. We they got already people. Are. Don't call. No, no, no. Don't call. <laughs> Email oh. chefgreg at rectech.com. That way we can do that whole first come, first serve kind of thing. I like it. So okay. if you're interested, class is 11 I'll give you a call. Um, I spoke to some folks that came here from Alaska. Okay. They got here on Monday. They've been hanging out in the Evans, Georgia area, and they are loving Where are they at? the weather. Right now? Yeah. They got a house in Grovetown. When they come by? They didn't. Oh. They've been, like, going around. Oh, but they hadn't come by yet. Not yet. Huh. They hit up. They hit up the river walk. That's that would have nice. been the first thing I did. The Finnessy Maybe swamp. They're trying to just wait to get oh, it I all get it. in. I like yeah, it. Nice. Cork and, uh, they went to Cork and Flame. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious uh, restaurant. Downtown. What's the one downtown? Right, the, uh, uh, Frog Hollow. Frog Hollow. That's oh right. wow. That's yeah. Right. They, they're, they're hitting up the they nice. They know yeah. what's up. They know what's up. Yeah. They said, "Hey, Chef Greg, what do we got to do?" I said, "Okay, we got you." <laughs> all right. Cool. So this chicken. Is honestly Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. We're about to show you the easiest Greek chicken. It's our go-to. One night a week, we tend to like uh, this chicken. For sure. We go to it. Now, I'm going to use this with whole chickens. We're, we're going to show you how to spatchcock. Okay. But you can buy your favorite chicken if you like chicken spatchcock. breasts, chicken thighs, chicken legs. Maybe you got the uh, the split breast with the bone and rib cage, or you pick up the... Uh, the little so chicken you can here. literally use do this marinade any any, any of, of your any of your favorite chicken, chicken fingers. I mean, uh, sure, cutlets, sure, breasts, okay. feet, okay. feet, chicken feet. All right, so we got that chicken. I'm gonna put him legs down with the backbone facing me. So I'm gonna legs do his down. That would be his neck. Up. Take my boning knife. Now again, we're using a Japanese style boning knife. These are our preferred knives. That's right. At Rec Tech Academy. Yep, that's right. Okay, and all you're gonna do is go on either side of that backbone. And just cut like that, boom. And then on the other side, same thing. Wow. Could you also use shear, Chef Greg? You could, but with a knife this sharp, you don't need to. Oh. Chef now, Greg, what could you, you do, do this is, with any fowl? Uh, yeah, man. Quail would be good. I mean, I'd probably stick away from duck, but yeah. Pheasant, all sorts of good stuff. Now, save that. Smoke that for some gravy. Okay. Now, this Ooh. is your spatchcock chicken right here. That's it. That's all you have to do. And I'm just going to give a little smush here. Man, that is easy peasy lemon squeezy, ladies and gentlemen. Shoot, yeah, Bo. This is a little chicken. This is like a, you know, three and a half pound bird. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split these. Just, now, did, if we're doing, just half him. Yep, if we're doing chicken halves. Okay. These are going to be absolutely amazing. Epic. You cook those like that. Or maybe you want to break them down into thighs and breasts. Boom. There you go. Just like that. John, any good questions out there from the folks? Well, they are all out here, all 210 of them, Jody. Uh, Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. Maybe we'll give something away if we get a 500. Ooh, oh, yeah. Do, do, I do like we have that. A, did we have a winner to announce or anything? I don't think we gave away anything last week. Did I don't we? Think, yeah, I don't think we did anything last week, did we? I'll check the... Uh, Top fan Tom right Taylor right says you ta you took Stevie's recipe and made it a little taller. Oh! oh, oh, oh hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, winner. Giveaways. <laughs> uh, nope. But again, you don't have to buy the whole chicken. You can buy what's on sale, buy what you like. If your family doesn't eat dark meat, I prefer the split breasts, which this is considered a split breast. It's got the skin on and the rib cage attached. I prefer that for the most moist, juicy, delicious chicken ever. And for me, I cook extra because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to make the most amazing chicken salad ever. That's what I'm talking about, Chef Greg. Delicious. And we're going to marinate this because I'm also going to make buffalo chicken dip tomorrow okay. for all those people coming to Rec Tech Academy because we got to eat snacks. That's right. I mean, One, it's more than just barbecue, people. That's right. One of our good friends out here, John Starjevic, says, uh, Chef Greg, have you tried Cornell chicken halves? He says they are great. Ooh. Cornell chicken. Is that like a brand? I think that's, yes, I think that's a brand. There's a university. Is it from the school? No. <laughs> Because these chickens came from a local purveyor. Oh, awesome. Is our buddy uh, Kenny Bottoms with Pig Feather Farm. I knew these chickens looked Check familiar. It out. Pig, he hooked it up with a cool hat, too, man. I like it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us for After Hours every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. When everybody's leaving, when they're getting out of the building, we hang out with you and we have a good time, show you a meal from start to finish. 
front to back, left to right, beginning to end through the whole entire show, and we have a blast doing it. Chef John, you got a good question from the folks out there. Put yeah. your comments in the comment section down below, everybody. I got a great question from our good friend Justin. First, he says, you guys are amazing. He says there's a, a lot of knowledge, and it's very entertaining. No, he, Justin, you are amazing. Thank he you. says, though, what are your favorite Kingsford pellets out of all the flavors? Man, he that's said, a... He wants to go to Flavor Town. Question. Loaded question. Yep, yep, yep. What uh, are you cooking? Absolutely, I mean, that is the question. Me, I'm a uh, all-time just hickory go-to kind of guy. If I'm not using the the hickory, I like to use the signature blend. But again, that's a good question, Chef Greg. What are you see, cooking? See, for me, I'm a classic guy because f that is going to give me all the flavor I want, right. all the versatility and smoke. And here's what I love about Kings for pellets: they burn so efficiently and so absolutely. cleanly. Very little ash. Right. There's nothing worse than burning like junky pellets, mm -hmm. and then you just get ash everywhere. Right. It's we do have ash, a winner to announce. Ash oh, is do? trash. It's just sent to me. Okay. Congratulations to our winner that we're going to announce later on. Oh, and we're we, going to do a giveaway later on. And we will also be doing a giveaway later on, so make sure you guys you stay had, tuned. You had me going on Smash that Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Sorry, Chef Greg. I know you're looking into the sun over here because my future's so bright. I just thought it was you were so great. You I had this like, aura around you. But uh, what temperature are we cooking at tonight, Chef Greg? See, that's a great question, too. If you've got a lot of time on your hands, you can go 325. Okay. If you are impatient, you want to get this done quicker, 400 degrees. Okay, okay. So 400 degrees for about, on this size, birds are a little on the small side. Um, about right. 45 minutes, 50 minutes or so. I really want to get the legs about 190 degrees and then uh, 165 in the breast. And then, um, you know, if you're going 325, maybe it's uh, an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, okay. You know? But internal temp is your key. And again, if you're impatient, kick the temps up. If you got a little more time on your hands and you want to kind of, you know, slow jam your dinner, just go ahead and, and knock the temp down a little bit. And what uh, brand of Kingsford pellets are we using tonight, Chef Greg? So we're cooking poultry. We're going to go okay. with that delicious Kingsford cherry pellet. Okay, Because awesome. I want some nice, nice sweetness. And uh, the cherry is going to give us a really robust color as well. Absolutely. It's, that color is going to be like a deep mahogany. The cherry wood is great great for any type of poultry uh, and it looks like we've got an amazing question from somebody out there in Facebook land make sure you put your questions and comments down below chef John's gonna read them off to us let us know where you're watching from we really do appreciate it everybody chef John uh, John Starsman says no those chickens are from Cornell New York he said, we have got to check them out. They're absolutely delicious. Cornell, New York. John Starcevich. He's, he's a New York guy himself. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's in Jersey. Oh. That's he, right up the road? He might be one of them confused Right across people. the river? Right across the bay or the, the, the water the Hudson? there? The Hudson? The uh, Hudson? To the Jersey? <sighs> but, All right. So Chef Greg is passing it off to me. I've got some delicious feta cheese. Yes, Chef John. Well, first, let's, let's add a little binder on here. Uh, what binder do you suggest, Chef Greg? Oh, shameless plug. Hey, you yeah, you right, unscrewed yeah. the cap. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was going to get that. Almost dropped it. But we got some delicious <laughs> Dirty Girl um, Martini Olive Ooh. Juice. The only aged olive That's juice right. on the market. From the Mother Brine. Oh, aged 10 so months. Makes it absolutely delicious. It's going to be a great brine for us. Check this out at dgmixers.com. Shout out to the Dirty Girl crew. So tasty. Um, but, yeah, great for martinis and great for salad dressing. Also great for some chicken binder. Oh, man, so good. I love it because it's really going to up that olive game and really start to bring this, like, recipe full circle. Right, right. It's um, like a I love it in salad dressings, briny. marinades. Um, it's really good on for, like, if you're going to brine some salmon as well. Right. But you're going to kind of soak this in here, and I'll just kind of come around yeah, you. Yeah, you're coming around here. I'm going to be the, the dirty right. one. You be the clean one. So we've got um, – that's <laughs> normally how it works, right? we got that Colden's Freaking Greek. Shout out. I'm sorry. We're just going to go ahead riot and engage mode. riot mode. Riot mode. Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. If you're just not joining us, we're doing Greek chicken, the theme, easy, go-to recipes. And then All we're right. going to add some of your favorite Greek salad dressing. This is some of my favorite Greek salad dressing. So they want to know how you get the skin crispy on your chicken skin. So anything, oh, just shot us. Anything over 325 is going to give you crispy chicken. Right. So you said you're the clean one. I'm the dirty one. I just made a mess. Mm. So that's what I get for not wearing an apron. Mm. Ruin my pants. Hey, Chef Greg, Michael Johnson says he just found a chicken he forgot about in his freezer. Ooh. He said it's been in there at least six months. Is it safe to eat? I mean, is, mm. is it, does it look kind of funky? Is it kind of freezer burnt? <laughs> Feta cheese. Mm. Not again. <laughs> Kalamata olives. Banana peppers. 
Oh. Mix it up, buddy. You know, I had a girlfriend. Her name was uh, Peppa. Oh, as well. yeah, she was. Peppa the she pig. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that dad. Hey, yeah, she, she was, was, she was British. <laughs> she was British, John. Funny that she said that. You got to turn on the electricity. All right, so now, once I mean, this is looking amazing. Man. You're going to marinate Thank this you, for like <laughs> 6 to 12 hours. Okay. okay. You really want to spend your time letting that... You know, vinaigrette, get in there, break it down. And you're thinking, why'd you put cheese and olives and stuff in there? Because when right. we cook it, it's going to get all, like, crispy, crunchy, like, Peanut buttery. deliciousness. Get on in there, Sherp. Get on in there, Sherp. Because you know how we Sherp roll. Sherp platypus. That was a uh, Sesame Street character, right? Right, yeah, absolutely. So this RT700, look Woo! at the crispy crunchy. Burr, 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 burr. Smash Guys. that sherp. Uh, Show Chef So we're right love. about 159 in the breast. Mm. Looking good. And let me check Rest. these thighs. I want to be like 190. Boom. Mm. So those legs and thighs those legs are, are done. Mm. Sud. We'll let those go just another five minutes, pull it off, and boom, we got some delicious Greek chicken. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, so I have a great question from one of our friends out here, Justin. He said, Justin. what state is a better barbecue state, Georgia or Texas? Oh, uh, well, uh, there's so, I mean, uh, two I think different types. Texas has a lot of history. A lot more history. Which is fine. That's right. But I think barbecue, you really can't say Texas or Georgia because we cook all styles of barbecue here right. in Augusta, Georgia at the worldwide headquarters of Rectech Grills. I'll put our food. We're fluid in all of our, all barbecue languages. Yeah. We're definitely fluent, 100%. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So I will put our barbecue game against anybody Liquid. out there. Liquid story. state. But maybe you want to up your barbecue game. You can come join us and learn from people from Texas. Mississippi. Mm -hmm. We got barbecue teams coming in town for Academy from Wisconsin. That's right. That's right. Way up there in the cold north. The Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. California. All over. Had some inquiries from a couple pitmasters in Louisiana. That's right. You guys put it in the comment section. What do you guys think? Texas or Georgia? That's right. We've yeah. already got a couple people throwing we, it in there. Or where your favorite yeah. barbecue uh, flavor comes from. But see, like I like a Memphis dry rub. Oh, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. But Memphis for me, I think the old, this is going to sound kind of crazy, though. Mm. Like, if you go to Texas... You okay. can, I mean, everybody in Texas, for the most part, okay, makes good brisket. Right. Okay. But what sets those barbecue places apart? Okay. Housemade sausage. Yeah, I was about to say sausage. Housemade yeah. sausage. Yeah, man. I mean, that Germanic influence mm -hmm. in, in West Texas, mm. that's how you tell, like, the real barbecue joint. Yeah, so sausage. they fight for Dude, some, who uh, has the best we sausage. Some, we got some uh, comments in the comment section. We got Kansas City, Alabama, Delicious. Uh, Carolina, South Carolina specifically, Texas, Georgia. They're There's an the east and west, See, uh, North I, Carolina. I can get down on, 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 on Carolina Whole Hog. Yep. Mm. What I can't get down on... Is that mustard barbecue? Come on, there's a place. Oh, I, I, can't love no, I can't barbecue. do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Do it. That French's cattleman. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, yeah, I'll take Please, that vinegar sir. and pepper flake all day long. I can't do the mustard. I love it. Can't do the mustard. I love it. There's a. I think there's room for everything, yeah. right? Mustard's delicious. Hey, I'm not the 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 hugest super vinegar South Carolina -y type of barbecue fan either, but there's room for it at the table. You know what I'm saying? I speak South Carolinian barbecue. Yeah, that's what I'm talking you know? about. I mean, white sauce on a chicken wing is pretty darn delicious. Strange, but, delicious. but pretty darn delicious. John Starjevic says the best uh, barbecue comes from uh, my bull in South Jersey. That's, that's what he right. Said. I that's told right. you he was a Jersey boy. That's right. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. We're cooking easy peasy Greek chicken. Greek chicken. Greg's go-to. Uh, one of our favorite go-tos as well. That's our theme this week. Chef John did a smoked chicken and vegetable soup. So good. Uh, Chef Greg yesterday. Man, he did an absolutely amazing job. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. already forgot what he made. That delicious <laughs> classic Stromboli. Italian That's right. Stromboli. That's right. That's right. That's right. I even remember watching it. Um, but, yeah, and then Country Club gave him a hard time. 8.1. Oh, tough score. But here's a, here's a very important question, though. Has anybody seen or heard from the country club this day? I've today? not seen oh or heard man, from the club. Oh, man, he went missing. Jeez mm, and no crackers. No. Nope. Put an APB out on country club. Uh, Hashtag oh by Felicia. That's right, Forgot. just like that. Country Greg club got is rid gone. Of him. Um, but easy peasy, lemon squeezy, ch Greek chicken tonight. It couldn't be easier. Again, we took little Stevie's recipe, and we rectified it and made it better and taller and stronger and faster. <laughs> you know, he's um, playing golf this week. That's right. For he him. And he actually golf. had to borrow uh, John Dillon's clubs. That's right. That's he, he, needed, <laughs> he needed an extra set, so uh, oh, just in case things got crazy. Buddy, that so Fisher funny. Price, that driver that's with some plastic golf up. balls, <laughs> man, you, can, pick up. you can get around on that. 
Uh, but smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. John, you got another good question. Yeah, our good friend uh, Terry Best wants hey, to Terry. know. Hey, Terry. Uh, are you guys on the wagon? Are you guys not drinking? Hey, I got uh, a delicious Weiss and Easy from Shiner. Uh, it's made with Texas dewberries. And delicious. if you're in the know, you know what a delicious Texas dewberry is. <laughs> it goes it's, down very wise. Oh, and easy. Our, t our top fan, Nick Dalton, says uh, roll tide with What's that up, white Nick? sauce is What's a up, must. What's up, Nick? Nick, how you feeling, buddy? Hopefully he's feeling better. Um, but, man, we are gearing up for a new Academy class, our October class. Mm -hmm. We're super, super excited. We're already ready already. Almost ready, but we don't have all the banners out yet. No, not the all the banners. The grills are prepped ready to go. The meat is in the Meat's fridge in ready to go. We got some good stuff. Uh, headed this way, Cal Cattle Company, one of our brisket our brisket sponsors. Stepping up, thank big you so time. much to them. Uh, we also uh, give a, a huge shout out, you know, Hassel Cattle Company, mm -hmm. uh, Chupacabra, two Gringos Chupacabra, uh, Yes Deer, uh, Bar um, Bar. Who else, Greg? Uh, we got Atlanta Barbecue Store. True that. We've got Lane's Barbecue. Lane's Barbecue. Heath Ryan Riles Lane. Barbecue. Shout out Heath Riles. We got Barbecue Superstore. Ooh. We got Pig Feathers Farm, yes, our sir. whole hog sponsor for. That's right. right. You could just go around the tripod because that just scares me. <laughs> Gosh. Like, I mean, it's like what? Uh, not li the limbo, right? Right. God. Right. It's um, crazy. But yeah, we thank all of our sponsors. But we uh, are looking for. Ooh. We are. There is a. There is a gap in our sponsorship. Oh. Because the There's dad room. joke of the week is sponsored yeah. by Shinerbox. That's right? right. But we need an official beer sponsor of RecTech Academy. That is very good. Question. So we That's would love idea, to serve right. all your delicious beer to all of these people coming mm -hmm. from all over the United States. Yeah. So if you want to be the official beer sponsor of RecTech Academy, you, go ahead and shoot up. us an email, chefgreg right. at rectech.com. We can I, make it happen. It's crazy you said that, Greg. Somebody I, at 10 a.m. asked me about that this morning. Really? Yeah. Really? Hey, yeah, was, it wasn't our uh, Red Bull rep, was it? No, I haven't, I haven't seen, seen that cat. I haven't seen that guy. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen that guy in a long time. He is, he is definitely I not a sponsor. Beverage South? <laughs> We're our, our, our buddy's hat. Um, we would love some delicious sugar-free Red Bull. Yeah, we would. Uh, All right, let's, would. Get, let's get this chicken off this grill. Get on in there, Sherp. Hashtag. Come on in here, Sherp. Jody, where does everybody need to go, though, if they want to find this recipe or they want to find out about new grills, when the new release dates are, what do they need to do? That's right, guys. All you have to do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Fill out everything on there, check all the boxes, sign up to receive this email, insert it directly into your inbox aggressively, uh, if not daily, definitely weekly. Uh, that's where we throw all of our recipes. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure uh, you check out rectech.com. Um, but I encourage you to sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says sign up for the newsletter, insert your email, hit the enter button, and make sure you sign up to receive all of those amazing mm, emails. But I can't believe so the good. beautiful color. Man. On, I mean, I know something about beautiful chicken, color, and that Greg, chicken that is cherry so good. Man, that Kingsford cherry wood knocked it out of the park. Hilt it. You guys can see all those crispity crunchities mm. on the outside. Yeah, that feta, uh, delicious Katamala olives, and uh, banana peppers. They're all nice and crunchy Ooh, on the outside. Yes, buddy. It's got that delicious dirty girl olive brine. Um, so good. It looks absolutely amazing. That you know, olive juice, are, aged 10 months. We are in the presence of greatness right now. Uh -oh. Yeah, absolutely. Jake from State Farm came here. Yeah! Oh, yeah. My buddy Mark is here. Hey, Jake, what are you wearing? Right. What are you wearing? Khaki pants Khaki. and a pony. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's, that's right. Shout out to my good friend Mark McBride. <laughs> uh. But the aroma on this, wow. you pick up the brininess of the olives, you got the saltiness of the feta cheese, Knocked you got the, the far, spiciness buddy. of the banana peppers. Mm. This, this right here, great. next level. So and again, good. internal temp, we went to 190. 190 in the legs and thighs, okay. and we went to 165 in the breasts. Awesome. We cooked it at 325 degrees, burning that Kingsford cherry wood pellet again. Very little ash, high BTUs, high smoke output. Uh, mm. Great pellet for any type of poultry. Um, sure and again, you poked it, and there's just juice running out of that. This thing would be right the most there. moist, there, sure. juicy, there, sure. delicious chicken it's just ever. Just dripping right out of that hole that Greg just created. I mean, you got to put that thermo pen in there, you know, just right. Absolutely. But smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. John, you got any other good questions out there from the folks out in Facebook land? They saying it looks phenomenal. Could you go over one more time the temp? All right, us. so we did this at 325. It took right about 75 minutes. Okay. We marinated this chicken 
in some chopped banana peppers, some chopped Kalamata olives, some feta cheese, some Greek dressing, some of that dirty girl uh, aged olive juice. Don't, eight, don't eight to twelve hours. Don't sleep on this stuff. That's right. Only aged olive juice on the market. That's oh, it's right. so good. That's right. Marinated up, three twenty-five for right about seventy-five minutes. If you can go 400 for about 45 minutes, mm. Mm. it just depends how lazy you want to be. Mm. But the crispy, crump, crunchy, burn like stuff on the top, that's the mm. best part. That's the great. absolute best part. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, but I'm going to rip a thigh, leg and thigh in half. Cause yep, be careful, Greg. That thing is on fire. I mean, I, I can't feel my hands. It's okay. But, guys, we've got uh, Rec Tech Academy coming up. Uh, we can't wait to see the October uh, pupils or class that's members. Right. Look at this. Oh, I mean, wow. it's just like. They're going to learn everything from back uh, from backyard recipes to Ooh, uh, competition ribs, chicken, right. brisket, mm. and pork butt. Mm. They're going to be able to uh, compete at a high level at any competition once they take this class. And again, we got pitmasters coming from all over the United States that's right. uh, for every class, making it absolutely unique. Boom, that's hot. No two classes are the same. Mm -hmm. um, we and got again, people coming back multiple times because right. they had so much absolutely, fun. Absolutely, absolutely. They, they, they want to try different uh, instructors out. They want to learn different things and techniques and such. And that's the cool thing about the Rectech Academy. You get super hands-on as well as uh, uh, super super individualized mm -hmm. uh, kind of training and uh, hands-on. Now that that's a clean thigh right there. Mm -hmm. no, that's, like, clean. that's clean. That's clean. That's John. You got a good question. Uh, yes, from our top mm -hmm. fan Jeff Gately. He asks, "Is there anything that we could use to substitute for the aged olive juice, Chef Greg?" Mm. So there is no substitute for that dirty girl aged olive juice. You can find that at dgmixers.com, mm -hmm. at rectech.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe you can go to your local. Uh, store and ask them right. for those dirty girl products right but if you can't get it i understand you can add a little bit of the juice from your olives juice. but it is not the same it's mm. it's just not the same mm. jody uh for all those new rec tech owners out there if they have Absolutely. a question they want to call somebody is there a number that can reach out to people? Absolutely. Anybody that picks up the phone here, guys, is going to own the grill and use it absolutely on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Please call us at 706-922-0890. Anyone who picks up the phone is going to be able to answer any and all questions mm -hmm. that you do have. Uh, be able to put your mind at ease, walk you through any kind of recipes, uh, give you uh, tips and tricks that they've learned over the years. But again, uh, that's what makes us different is For everybody sure. that picks up the phone here owns the grill and uses it regularly. So they're going to be uh, already have gone through the situation mm -hmm. that you're in right now and help you uh, walk right through it. And depending that. on the time, it could be you or me. Absolutely. We answer the phones. John, you got to come over and taste this yep, chicken. Yep, yep. Okay, I'm about to come over. Uh, uh, Jody, uh, Wait, some of this boar sauce. Mella Kimmy Naples says Ooh, hey. she wants you to do some vegetarian food. Oh, yeah, we've got, uh, we usually do vegetable Now, meat. you could do the same exact recipe with, you know, halved zucchinis, Ooh. halved squash. Ooh, yeah. Eggplant would be absolutely okay. fantastic mm. like this. Brussels sprouts, I love me some Brussels right. sprouts. Mm. Use that uh, Rectech nonstick right. oh, uh, grill mat. Put the Brussels sprouts on there. Put all of the uh, mm. the olives on there. It'd be mm. absolutely Super amazing. Juicy, Spaghetti Dude, squash, oh, so, so, so acorn squash. That's slamming right there. Mm -hmm. That's righteous. I mean, righteous. Super so moist, good. tender, mm. falling off the bone. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Mm. I mean, you could even Beautiful take like color. you know some chickpeas Killed and make it. a nice like uh, you know mm. melange, if you will, on that grill mat with M some chickpeas, menage a trois. some broccoli, oh, some oh, cauliflower. Hey, after Whoa. hours, it's after this hours. This is after hours. Me plus two pieces of chicken that makes three. That's you know true. What I'm That's after hours right That's there, right. ladies and gentlemen. Um, so good. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We have such a great time with you uh, during after hours. Mm -hmm. uh, I do want to announce that winner. That's it's right. It's actually and a, a giveaway. Uh, winner of a Dirty Girl prize pack. Let's do it. So you're as well get as a rub and sauce bundle. So you're going to get a bottle of that aged olive juice. Shoot, right. Yeah. So there's no excuse for whoever is this lucky right. winner. You have to make this recipe. Yep. There's no um, excuse. He studied at Clark College in Vancouver, Washington. Oh, now we're What's up, Clark? And that's right. That's uh, what I'm he about. went to Benson Polytechnic High School. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Advanced education. Narrowing it Lo down. Looks like he's a, a golf fan. Ooh. Um, but uh, Mr. Dennis Vassbender. Congratulations, Congratulations Dennis. Dennis. Bender. Congratulations, Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations, Dennis. Send us a DM. Direct message us on Facebook. We will check and make sure that it is, in fact, you, Mr. Dennis. And we will never ask for your financial information mm -hmm. over social media. Not unless we're a scam. And we'll never ask you to click on a link to go to claim your prize Especially either. if the link is all, like, janky. No, that's not no, us. That's not how we roll. That's not how we roll. Yeah. No. You click on it, it takes you to Rec Tech Grills on Facebook, but it's some Indian kid with a flat bill hat on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not us. Weird. That's
That's on us. Don't trust that person. Yeah, don't trust that person. We're diverse, just not that They are not legit. Um, but we also, we need to give something away. Yes. Uh, let's give away, uh, um, what, Greg? Some shirts? Some shirts? Some shirts. <laughs> Some after hours. I shirts? say maybe, uh, what if we kind of upped it a little bit? Let's Ooh. up it, Greg. Up it. Up it. Oh, yeah, I gave away stuff in my office. That's yeah. right, you did. On, on what, your show? That's right. Yeah. Yep. Monday. Oops, someone's Old logo me. stuff. My That's grandparents right. are calling. Yeah. Oh, Veronica right. and Grumps, we're filming a show right now. Grumps, Grumps be watching. Watching. They're 94 years old. They, they probably <laughs> forgot. It's almost bedtime for work. this. Yeah, it's almost yeah, bedtime. No, no, they've they're, already they're, had dinner. They're pro- no, they're they're probably just up from their nap. He's probably about to have a scotch, oh. and she's probably about to have a Manhattan or a dirty martini. That's the good life, right there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they throw girl. down now. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm pretty sure Grumps, would, 94, yeah. Yeah, could yeah. throw if down more it, single than yeah. that. Yeah, God willing, I make it to 94. Y'all better watch yeah. out. 93, 94. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Man. Big, black, and beautiful. Man, 93, 94, what was I doing? <laughs> Woo-wee, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Were you even in high school yet? Man, I'm telling you, I was riding in a drop-top Mustang 5.0. What? With my, with, you know, top down so my hair could flow. Yeah, you were, Jody. You. Oh, man. <laughs> Dating a girl named Christy. I don't know. Just rocking out some vanilla uh, ice. That's right, that's right. Uh, but shout out to everybody out there uh, um, watching. We really do appreciate you for what hanging out. What did you say the giveaway? No, what, did we give right. away? what are we giving away? Uh, what, what haven't we done in a while? Uh, we haven't given a grill away in a while. Whoa. whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait a, I mean, I'm just going just, straight to it. Just you know what I'm saying? The chase. I'm just saying. Good Lord, get us fired, Jeez. John. I'm just saying Christ. it's after hours. Everybody's gone. I mean, They won't find out until tomorrow when they watch the show. What do you guys think out there? Should we give away a grill maybe? Yeah, maybe they can. Of could. course they're going to say yes, but are they going to pay for it? <laughs> I mean, when we get fired, who's going to do all the cooking around here? <laughs> all right, so what if. Sharp. Oh, Crystal Field Klein says you should give away an Academy ticket. I got a, I got a, I got an idea. <laughs> what if, what if we give away? What if a behind the scenes Uh-oh. Academy Uh-oh. swag bag? Oh, Ooh. snap! You don't even know what's in it. You have to be here to figure it There's out. There's some good stuff wow. in it, though. So what if we did that? We've never done that before. Wow, let's do it. We'll do an That's Academy swag yeah. bag. Because you yep. can't get it anywhere except for Academy. That's right. That's right. I, I mean, there's it. over two hundred and fifty dollars worth of value in that wow. swag bag. Yeah, there's Absolutely. some nice stuff. It's insane. It's super nice. Insane. Shout out to all our sponsors. That's right. All right, so what do they got to do, guys? I think you have to share this video. Share the video. Definitely. And I think we got to I think we got to poke more fun at Country Club. Oh. Ooh. I think I think after that yes. I'm still I'm still hard oh, on the A1. Yes. Okay. So I, get, Greg, get, think, get on in heart. there, Greg. I think it's hashtag Uh-oh. By Felicia Country Club. By right. Felicia Country, Country Club. Club. Man. Okay. And you enter to win you enter to a win. swag bag exclusive. Rec Tech Academy swag bag, guys. Yeah. Can't get it anywhere else. Chef Greg said over $200 worth. $250 of worth of prizes and merchandise in there. It's insane. Mm. I just ate mm. all that chicken. You, we got more. Oh, man. Speaking of chicken, this one breast over here is a little big. I left it back on there. Greg's got a big old breast over there on the grill. <laughs> uh, but smash that share button, guys. Comment in the comment section. Hashtag by Felicia Country Club for your chance to win an Academy swag bag. Uh, but don't forget. Right. Tomorrow. That's right. We've got it's Thursday, lunch 12 break. noon That's right. on YouTube. That's right. We'll be doing my easy go to favorite. Which uh, you're going to tell us what it is? Absolutely not. You've got to <laughs> stay tuned. Okay. Uh, then later on in that day, 11 p.m. Eastern mm-hmm. Standard, Chef John does his midnight munchies. Late night. Uh, late night munchies. That's right. Show I'll be in bed in the office. Where That's he right. does sweetness. I'll come down and say hello before they start. Absolutely. So technically, John, I have we got here for Spotlight for after hours. Technically. 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 Mm-hmm. We'll have product spotlight at four tomorrow as well. We'll also do Fun Day Friday. But it's going to be at one o'clock. That's ish. right. One o'clock so ish. You got to set your guys. notifications. So set your notifications. One o'clock ish. We do want to make that announcement. Fun Day Friday is moving to one o'clock ish. Uh, Fridays of Academy. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. to accommodate That's right. uh, our Academy attendees. Of course, we got to give them that VIP uh, experience. Shoot you, right. um, But we've got so much things, so many things coming. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as Kingsford's YouTube channel for more amazing content just like this. Uh, congratulations Happy to the Braves. Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. <laughs> the Braves. That's right. And also on Friday, guys, don't forget, we have movie night. <laughs> it start, movie starts at 7 p.m. Ghostbusters. Are you going to call Ghostbusters? When I was that kid, I got scared of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But yeah, gates open at 6 30. We'll have Can't food trucks out here for you guys. Yep. We have a playground, Never bathrooms available. Uh, the showroom will be open. Shoot, yeah, Definitely come on out. $10 a car load of people. Sh car it's load. Gonna a, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Wow. I pack them in, Jody. Right. 15 people in a car. Wow. Yeah. Right. Did you work at the circus? Well, you know, I wasn't always a chef. Oh. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much. Make sure you follow me on social media, BBQ Dad, Jody, Chef Greg Muller, and then Chef John Pinnell. Reach out to us. We are Jody at Rectech, Chef Greg at Rectech, Chef John at Rectech.com if you need an email for us. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the Rectech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'm going to yell at do, these folks. Do, do. Teresa Silcox, what's up? Josh Ward, Sam Alonso, Bobby Massingale, Justin down. Alex, Vance, Antonio, like Tommy Mark, Gina, Bobby, do, do, do. Scott, Crystal, Mark, do, do, do. Jeff, Aaron, Josh, Johnny, Ray, Scott.